hi and welcome back to my channel this is another what i wore and why video so if you're curious to figure out what i've been buying what i wore and why stick around so last week i skipped the series because i was finding so many great deals and i wanted to show y'all so y'all could go partake and i just want to thank everyone that clicks on my links um and thinks enough of me to buy something that i recommend I really, really appreciate it. The people that messaged me under and asked for the link to something, thank you so much. Um, this is a hobby for me, but it is work. Um, I have a schedule. I edit the stuff myself. I link the things myself. So thank you. I really appreciate it. My outfit I have on today, this is part of a set. It was a skirt and a sweater. I love the leopard type prints like this particular print, so I didn't get rid of it um, <laughs> because I would want to get rid of all my winter clothes. I'm not in a good space with my winter clothes. Um, so I switched over my closet this weekend. I'm still in the process of doing that today. <clears throat> I'm looking at a pile of clothes in the corner. And I am not okay with my winter clothes. I don't like any of them. Very few of them like this, maybe five or six sweaters. Um, I love all my bottoms. I'm just not okay with my winter tops. I am in a minimalistic vibe. I have an idea what I want to look like in fall and winter, and it's not anything that I've worn previous fall and winter. Yeah, all my outerwear stays. <coughs> I love outerwear. It's just like, I just want very minimal things, like maybe a beige turtleneck and sweater, bodysuit, brown and black, cream, prints, very like neutral monotone, which is different from how I normally dress in the spring and summer. I wear like colors, colors, and more colors. I don't know. I'm just, yeah, with my clothes. Trying to fall back in love with some of them, but check my Poshmark because I'm posting a lot of things on there as I clear out all my bins. I'm either keeping or donating. I'm not putting it up for later. I'm not doing any of that. So keeping, selling, or donating. <clears throat> so I haven't uploaded stuff in my Poshmark. Okay, I've talked too long. I have some things that I've gotten from Macy's and like, and something from Express. So let's go over the Express item first and then we'll get into the outfit. Um, Express, I just ordered one thing, which is a bodysuit that I've been stalking forever that sold out in my size and then it came back and as soon as it came back, I snatched it up. It is their, um, contour material and it is a neutral tone and it's a snake print neutral tone, long sleeve bodysuit everything like this is all i want to wear neutrals animal prints it's about it all the stuff from future collective i got last year i love but for the most part like all like h&m i maybe kept three or four sweatshirts <coughs> i'm just not <clears throat> still wrestling with this cold but yeah this material is everything is sick uh it sucks you in I love Express Body Seeds. I've talked about them over and over and over again. I'm an Express style editor, so we love Express here. It's a mock neck bodysuit. It fits into the theme of what I want to look like this fall and winter. Just very sleek, classic, Tracy Ellis Ross, Carrie Washington vibes. Joan Clayton. Long structured coats, turtlenecks, um, plush fabrics. Just like expensive that's what i want to look like so yeah we're getting out some of the playful things that i don't really like some of the things that aren't fitting in that aesthetic and i am posting them to my poshmark so go check that out um the first video first outfit i want to talk about is an outfit that i wore out to dinner <clears throat> a little while ago so cute the jacket is from um target from Target Blank NYC. I got it in the sale. My bodysuit is from Plumy. I have this in pink. I have it in tan and I have it in black. I love it. Um, it has like a sheer mesh top part. Bag is a Chanel Walk um, belt I got from American Company ages ago. It's a 
all over sequin, like bedazzled belt. <clears throat> Jeans are from Abercrombie and Finch. And sandals are from 99 and Union from DSW. Love that outfit. It's really cute. But yeah, I'm one where we're like separate. So a lot of like bodysuit jacket combos. Really feeling my um, outerwear. So I want to utilize that more. And with sweaters, you can't really do that. So maybe that's why I'm not feeling my sweaters. I'm not sure. The next outfit I want to talk about <clears throat> is when I wore home. Um, we went to a brunch for my aunt. Alexander Wayne t-shirt. Um, my off-white bag that I got from eBay. If y'all want me to do another eBay video, I know I did this earlier on in my channel. Um, start when I first started filming. If you with several tips, several designer pieces, luxury pieces that I got from eBay, and several tips of how I find them, um, I could do a dedicated video of that, like a part two updated version. If y'all want to see that, because I find some gems on eBay. This bag was off-white Jitney Mini that I wanted forever, that I paid less than three hundred dollars for. <clears throat> Brand new box, tags, authentication, the whole nine from eBay. I find the oddest, best pieces on eBay. eBay is like my thrift store. Like I told y'all before, I don't really thrift anymore like I used to when I was in high school and college. I love to thrift. And me and my best friend, Angel, we used to go to the thrift store every weekend and find the best 70s coats. I had so many great coats, but I don't know if y'all know, I'm from Mississippi and my parents um, had lost things in Katrina and those are some of the things where I had the best coats. So now I use eBay for that. <clears throat> I've gotten a wool coat off eBay. I've gotten so many great things off eBay. Don't sleep on eBay. The leggings are from, I think those are from New York and Company, I wanna say. Just a leather legging and off-white sneakers that I got from DSW. DSW has great designer shoes as well. I don't sleep on them. Got those from DSW for under retail. <clears throat> Next outfit I want to show is the outfit that would have worked. I was sick here, but I wanted to like <coughs> wheel myself back. So I put on something really cute that I thought would kind of get me going. And I've really been able to be functional while I've been sick. I've been sick for a minute and I've still been able to function. Praise the Lord. It's getting better. It's just dragged out really long. So um, the jacket is from Wilson's Leather. Um, everything, it looks like leather. I featured it on my channel. They, yeah, it looks like leather, but it feels, it looks like denim, but it's fully leather. It's everything. The shirt is from H&M. Jeans are from Good American and boots are another wide calf pair that I got last year from Franco Sarto from Macy's. Don't sleep on, Macy's has a lot of wide calf boots, y'all. <clears throat> I'm going to show y'all a pair in this video. And that leads into my Macy's speech. I love Macy's. And Macy's, if you want me to be an ambassador, I would love to. I frequent Macy's very often. I buy a lot of things from Macy's. We love Macy's here. Um, <laughs> Macy's. So, yeah. Do their friends and family sale? And they're like clothes. So the brand that I'm buying mostly from Macy's for clothes right now is um, Bar 3. I think that's the name of it. I want to say. I'll verify that when I open this. But Macy's has been a point. So many different pairs of Wildcat boots. Fashion and figure boots on Macy's that they don't even have on fashion and figure. So that's a pair of boots that I'm featuring in this video. I went and looked on fashion and figure and they were not there. <laughs> so this is a pair of shoes I got from Macy's as well. And it's so funny. <coughs> it took me forever to get these. But my one of my best friends had called me and she sent me a picture. We fuel each other's shopping habits as well. That's what we bonded on. Um, and I met her at work actually later in life. So don't frown at meeting people later in life. I know my mom, people used to say you don't meet friends like that later in life. But I did. <clears throat> and anyway, she sent me a picture of these and she was like, what do you think? And I was like, oh, I bought them too. We do that often. Um... These are a Birkenstock like shoe from Ink, and it's a cow print. I love Ink shoes, and because of the quality, these are calf hair, no faux material here, no PU anything, no vegan anything. This is from a calf. 
like if you're gonna pay for it like i want to get a leather shoe so <clears throat> it is just black and white cowper do i need to get rid of summer dresses get rid of you need to take them out yeah like short sleeve stuff in my closet oh please short sleeves look like what like if it's church no but if it's not church yeah okay can i say hi yes put up laundry no not laundry i have to take out my summer clothes and switch them out in a winter because it's 30 degrees outside and i don't want to get sick because everyone's getting covid and bronchitis which i had bronchitis but i'm i'm cured now but anyways and they're getting covid 19 bronchitis monkey pox um <laughs> they got monkey pox at so if you don't know what monkeypox is, I said, who like, do you know got monkeypox? A lot of people. Oh, a lot of people. Okay. Yeah. Well, so make sure you please. stay safe <laughs> and always wear your mask because we're starting to wear our mask out more. Because after quarantine, we started wearing them, and then after towards that, we stopped wearing them. So so make sure you wear your mask. Okay, bye. And subscribe to my channel, Malaya Malaya's Red Six Fourteen. Okay, bye. Sorry, I didn't know that was gonna be a disrespect. Um. So yeah, these are everything. I think they were like 40 something dollars with the 30% off. Ho oh, please. <coughs> I return. I have a chicken in the oven at that check on. And Mostly's asking here. <clears throat> Next thing from Macy's. The Friends and Family Sale this year was bomb. They had some great items. I was able to find several pair of black hat boots excited about so I got this with my star rewards <coughs> okay. and it's a sorry let me also these cock drops for Ricola honey and herb <coughs> are bomb They're really good um, I had a fragrance sampler with my Star Rewards points because I've been wanting to try the Barn and Roma Intense, which I have the regular Barn and Roma, but I want to try the Intense and also try the Prada. People talk so much crap about the Prada perfume. It's like even got a mini bottle. I'm in love with it. I want to get it for myself for Christmas. So if anybody wants to buy me something for Christmas. <coughs> not you daddy um Prada perfume um it smells really really good y'all I like it and people talk so much crap about it but I like it Angel Elixir Libre Lay and Donna Bond Roma and it's pretty good size bottles and they're little minis of the actual bottles so I thought that was cute so I got those And then, I have a clothing item for me and my daughter. So this is hers. I'm trying to find her a leather skirt, but make it kid friendly because she is 12. So I found one in the junior section and it's by Tinseltown. And this is why I like buying her clothes from Macy's. Look at the quality of that. Not in the small in juniors because I'm finding that a 16 <clears throat> and kids can still be too short for her because she's tall. So, sorry, something in my nail. I thought it was very like appropriate for her age. It has a drawstring with a tie in the back. It just has a seam in the back. It has pockets 
on the side and it's by tinsel zone i got it in a small it was regular 36 but i got it for 18. the quality is everything y'all know i don't buy her kitty clothes like i buy her some kind of the same vibe that i'm on just in smaller sizes i've always done that even when she was a baby um the size tutu oh they sent me a gift so they sent me this miyaki perfume to try also all those cards that you get like for the shutterflies and door dashes i got a mac chestnut so if you want 15 percent off and you're buying like perfume lipstick makeup products some skincare and you want you're not a sephora or vib member just wait till macy's has their friends and family you still get 15 percent off all beauty products and you don't have to because sephora you're just gonna get the vib discount and sephora doesn't sell mac anyway but yeah sephora you're just gonna get the vib not the vib but the insider discount which is just 10 percent I would wait till Macy's has their friends and family can get 15%. You don't have to buy a certain amount. You know, the Sephora, as you buy things, you move up from the insiders, the VIBs, the Rouge. Macy's, you don't. You just show up and just buy things. So if you're just looking for makeup or perfume and some beauty products, some skincare products, some ones that are carried like in department stores, buy from the friends and family sale at Macy's. I got the MAC Chestnut Liner. I lost my last one. I better not use this one. Um... I love that. It's my favorite dark liner. <clears throat> and then I got another one of the skirts. I think this is the Bar 3 rent as well. I got this in black, but it was so good I'd get it another color. Yeah, it's Bar 3. That's the brand I remember. I like. For like sleek shirts, turtlenecks. Um, just It's more like a contemporary vibe, which I'm really into. Um, and it's just a flat front with pleats in the front and in the back. I like the flat front because I have a hips and a butt and this doesn't kick out. Like usually when I wear pleats, if they're pleated all around, the pleats kick out in the back because of the pleats. So it's flat. So it just forms to your body. So I got it in brown. So I have this in black and in brown. It's regular $59.50, but in the sale, I think it was $34. And look at that quality. I love leather, leather in the following ones, y'all. It's my vibe. I could probably wear something leather. Like I wore something leather Thursday and Saturday. Like at least two or three times a week. Um. Lastly, I got this for my daughter from Target. If your kid, like mine, is into Lululemon, but you don't want to spend the Lululemon price tag, you can get her a fanny pack from Wild Fable. Looks kind of similar to Lululemon one, but I got her a denim one. They have them in black, pink, all the colors. Um, it's fifteen dollars, but Target had thirty percent off of clothing and accessories, so I got this in that. So she has this in black and now in denim. I was feeling like the denim would carry her into fall and winter, and it's a little more. The black is more like sporty, and I feel like this is more. She could wear this dressier or dress down. You're welcome. Here, put this up. And so, yeah, that's my tip. <clears throat> so, my last couple of outfits. It's going to be a quick video. No outfit was what I wore on the weekend. <clears throat> we had like a church harvest festival. Y'all know I talked about this t shirts from Fashion Nova. They're bomb. This one says Hot Boys. I showed it on the video. I love one when the black is hot one. I have a No Limit one. Oh, is it No Limit or is it Cash Money? I have a Cash Money one. It's just says Hot Boys on the front and has Wayne, Juvie, BG, and Turks pictures from off the album. My jeans are from Abercrombie, Jordans, and then my Palm Springs backpack. My sunglasses are from Amazon. Um, 
Next outfit was one I featured on the video also. This is, get down. He always wants to make his way in the video. This is Bobo, y'all. Say hi, Bobo. Down, Bobo. Um, I got it from the Roaring Blazers collection. It's the Roaring Blazers sweatshirt. Matching plaid so skirt. <clears throat> matching plaid skirt. And tights are from Walmart. Don't sleep on Walmart Secret Treasures tights. They are linked in my like to know it. A lot of you bought them, like 20 people bought them. Thank you. They're the bomb. And then my boots are some oldie but goodie wide cap boots from Naturalizer from Nordstrom. That was a cute outfit. And the last outfit I'm showing is one I wore to church. Dresses from Future Collected from Target. I had a Gucci pants for a little flare. Jewelry is from Ethica and Braca. I wear this chain like every day. I've had this. I have a big one and this one. I got this in the Nordstrom show like two years ago. Doesn't fade. I love it. It has an S on it with like little diamonds around it. And the dress is from Future Collective. It's a collection that's there now. Um, my Gucci mules <clears throat> and the same Palm Springs backpack. And that was the last of the outfits. So I'm all caught up with the outfits. Last thing I'm going to show in the video is another pair of boots from where you say? I didn't have a pair of them, but these are from Macy's. The bag already is like torn open, I guess we're going to clean them. Um, these are the fashion figure boots that I got from Macy's. Well, I go. Go cut the oven off. So, I said I don't have any flat boots. I still haven't found any flat boots. So, when I moved, I've been living here for two years now. And you know, it goes on when you move, like after a while, you just like give it all away, give it all away. And I don't know if I gave my flat boots away or if I, I, I had to give them away because I can't find them. Anymore. Like flat knee high boots. So, I wanted another pair. And I saw these on Macy's, and I thought that would be cute. They're not flat, though. The pair is almost flat. I mean, the heel is like nothing. I wanted something that would be good, like casual. You turn it off, you press that stop clear button, right? Yeah. Okay. It's casual. So these are thigh high or over the knee snake print boots. The heel is maybe two and a half inches. It's minimal. You have that almond shaped toe that we like. They are so long. I'm short, so these are gonna go all the way up on me. <laughs> but I thought like these, a sweater and jeans is like all you need. Um, I got them in a size nine. And they're wide calf, of course. They have lace up in the back I have several pairs of boots from fashion figure these boots were under $50 with the 30% off from Macy's which was a steal and yeah I can't wait to wear these um maybe not work appropriate so I'll probably wear these on the weekends but they're gorgeous on the steel so I guess I'll tell you the things that I'm looking for. Because <clears throat> that's it. I need a flat pair of boots. Preferably a leopard pair. But I can't seem to find one. Sam Edelman came out with some a few years back. And I wasn't into boots a few years ago. Like my style. Like what I'm into. What I like ebbs and flows. But like a few years back. I wasn't into like tall boots. I just wouldn't. But they had a tall over the knee leopard calf hair boot and I can't find them anywhere in my size. So a leopard boot, preferably flat, a suede flat boot. If it's leopard, I don't need the suede because leopard is a neutral. My dog is like, what's going on? Um, what else am I looking for? Like, um, crazy. 
another Skims and Fendi collab piece. I've been looking on eBay like every day for one. Nobody's selling any. Um, a Prada nylon nylon moment. Book bag, backpack. I'm not sure yet. I'll know it when I see it. I'm trying to think what else I'm searching for on eBay. Billionaire Boys Club sweatshirt. Alexander Wang sweatshirt. Trench coat, a vintage trench coat. I'm watching one at Mango and at Nassia, but I want something vintage. I think that would be better and cheaper. What else? I don't want any more sneakers. Like I'm going on sneakers. I would like some kind of Burberry shoe. I'm not really sure. And I think that's all. That's like, I'm watching Mason Margiela jeans. I might get myself some for Christmas if I can find them in my size somewhere. And that's really it. Just those boots. Once I have those boots, I think I'll be good as far as like boots. I have Uggs. I don't have a pair. I don't need Uggs. I don't wear Uggs like that anymore. So, once I get those flat boots, I think I'll be done. I do want like some more, like I said, plain minimalistic sweaters. I'm like good on cardigans. Yeah, and I think that's it. So, I'm pretty much good with everything. I just need to fine tune a few things. So, I'm going to work on doing that, doing that. Hope everyone has a great week. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye. And if you ever want or need or looking for anything, just pipe it below. And I will link it in my like to know it for you. And, yeah. Because I do do, like, little personal shopping for people. So, yeah. And that's it. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.